PFI, Popular Front of India, has finally been banned by the government of India. A very good step, a very welcome step. Around 350 to 370 people have been arrested after two days raids across the country. It's a good step. While no one has been arrested from West Bengal. So there are people who are saying that uh, while PFI is very much present on the ground of West Bengal, how is it that no one uh, from West Bengal has been arrested? Certain some other people are there who are thinking that PFI is perhaps not present on the ground of West Bengal and that is why no one has been arrested. So I want to share a few information with all of you uh, so that it becomes easier to understand why is it that no one has been arrested from West Bengal. What could be the probable reason that no one of PFI has been arrested from West Bengal? Is it that PFI is not present in West Bengal? Or is it that uh, the government of India is ignoring this state? I would share certain information with all of you so that you can think yourself that what could be the probable explanations PFI has evoluted. PFI is the evolution of the earlier organization called SIMI, Students Islamic Movement of India and Indian Mujahideen. So those organizations had been banned and those organizations and people associated with those organizations uh, had uh, come to this PFI version of it, the later version PFI. And one of the founder members of SIMI, founder member, Please note, one of the founder members of Simi was Ahmed Hassan Imran, who became a Rajya Sabha MP from West Bengal by TMC. Simi's founder member Ahmed Hassan Imran was a TMC MP. Mamuta Banerjee had given uh, him the ticket to be a Rajya Sabha Sangsad. And in 2012, if we all remember, Mamata Banerjee decided that which newspapers would be stacked by different public libraries of the state. She decided which newspapers would be stacked in the libraries and which newspapers won't. Amongst her selected newspapers, there was a newspaper called Column. This Column was the newspaper of Ahmed Hassan Imran. That was selected to be stacked in public library by Mamata Banerjee herself. And this particular organization, SIMI, has later translated into PFI. And PFI had been thoroughly active on the ground of West Bengal. But from the experience of SIMI, what they have done is the organization has broken itself into many individuals. In 2017, on November 1, Popular Front of India had done a huge rally in West Bengal in Esplanade. At 2 p.m. on November 1, 2017, Popular Front of India gathered in Esplanade and uh, where amongst the speakers, there were three speakers from PFI, one speaker from SDPI and Four other speakers who were separate individuals. All of them spoke in favor of PFI and their agenda. In this meeting, they talked about protection of Rohingyas in India. And they said there were uh, speakers present in this meeting who said that if someone touches even a single hair of Rohingyas, we would make sure that Bengal burns. And amongst the speakers uh, on, on PFI platform, there was a person uh, who was actively, who, who was active, who is and who was actively involved in illegal infiltration of Rohingyas. He was orchestrating Rohingya import. And that person had said that we would see to it that Bengal burns if 
anyone dares to touch even a hair of the Rohingyas. So this was in 2017. And in 2019, after the uh, launch of um, Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019, we have seen the statewide protests by minority communities and the way the, their protests were organized, the, the way they had, like they were prepared, they had burnt down uh, the whole the trains and not only the trains they had burned down the uh, fire brigade engine also the fire brigade engine was called in to um, extinguish the fire in uh, Beldanga station and they had uh, arsoned even the uh, fire brigade machine they were prepared to that extent in Beldanga there was Mahem and they disconnected the railway signaling system so all the preparations you can imagine disconnection of railway signaling system arsoning the train arsoning the fire brigade machine also so the kind of preparation for arson so all these were done by people associated with PFI and they did a hu another huge rally in Kolkata Esplanade on um, if I correctly yes I will I will just refer to yeah it was on uh, December 18 2019 at around one o'clock They said that they called different Muslim organizations had called a huge rally in Esplanade. And it was again another very well organized rally. Different Muslim organizations. How can different individual organizations remain so organized if there is no organizing, uh, there is no organizing organization. This organizing organization is nothing but the PFI people, the people who are loosely bound, they are who are operating as individuals, loosely bound together with each other, but all of them are basically working for Popular Front of India. And uh, immediately after a few days, on January 5, PFI did another meeting in Bhakuri Bahurampur Morshidabad where uh, you know who was among the speakers Abu Tahir Khan of TMC was a speaker uh, in that uh, rally that was also against Citizenship Amendment Act 2019 and in the same meeting there was Taslim Rahmani present we all know Taslim Rahmani. Taslim Rahmani is the speaker who had engaged with Nupur Sharma in that controversial debate. He was present as a speaker in Murshidabad, Bahurampur, in a, me in a rally, in a meeting. And then this year in February in Murshidabad, PFI has organized a huge rally and they had also done march past etc. And there are the public it is the reports are there in public domain media has been has reported that incident a huge rally organized rally and i have already told you in another me uh, video that pfi is all, uh, working in in west bengal pfi is working in a bengal specific mode they are converting the hindus in the bordering districts of west bengal and there are many people those who come uh, to speak in different Islamic jalsas which are being organized in even in Hindu dominated areas and there the people who come as speakers are all associated with PFI all the they, these are the people who run different magazines they are known as Islamic intellectuals and uh, there are people who also run their own academies academies for minorities and academies residential academies where the students stay and learn so we do not know what they learn and what where what exactly they learn so these people these individuals function and you know these are the individuals who still in touch who still circulate the a newspaper called 
কুবের কলম দি নিউজ পেপার নেমড কলম হুইচ ওয়াজ ওন্ড বাই আহমেদ হাসান ইমরান হ্যাজ নাও বিন নেমড অ্যাজ পুবের কলম অ্যান্ড দিস পুবের কলম ইজ স্টিল বিং সার্কুলেটেড বাই ডিফারেন্ট ইসলামিক অর্গানাইজেশন অ্যান্ড সাচ রিপোর্টস আর দেয়ার ইন পাবলিক ডোমেইন রিপোর্টস প্যামফ্লেটস আর দেয়ার ইন পাবলিক ডোমেইন সো ন্যাচারালি ফ্রম দেয়ার ওয়ান ক্যান ইজিলি আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হাউ স্ট্রংলি পপুলার ফ্রন্ট অফ ইন্ডিয়া ইজ প্রেজেন্ট অ্যান্ড মোর ইম্পর্টেন্টলি দিজ আর দি পিপল হু হার ইন ভেরি ক্লোজ কানেক্ট উইথ সিপিএম লিডার্স টু লাইক নট ওনলি টিএমসি এমপি আবু তাহের খান ওর আহমেদ হাসান ইমরান ওর মমতা ব্যানার্জি প্রেসক্রাইবিং কলম টু বি স্ট্যাক্ট ইন পাবলিক লাইব্রেরি বাট দি ইসলামিক ইন্টেলেকচুয়ালস হু স্পিক ইন ডিফারেন্ট প্ল্যাটফর্মস অফ পি এফ আই হু স্পিক ইন ডিফারেন্ট প্লেসেস ডিফারেন্ট জলসাজ ইসলামিক জলসাজ দিজ লিডার্স আর ভেরি ক্লোজ টু সিপিএম লিডার্স অলসো সিপিএম লিডার লাইক সুজন চক্রবর্তী ইজ ভেরি ক্লোজ টু ইসলামিক ইন্টেলেকচুয়ালস and these people have got a very strong support of uh, cpm and uh, these people speak in almost the same language as the cpm speaks on the other hand these leaders also circulate puber column which is nothing but the earlier version named as column so from all this information we can easily understand that PFI in West Bengal has been overlapped with political organizations like TMC and CPM. They are very much overlapped. The same people. So that can be one reason why no one has been arrested. Because whom to arrest, whom not. But that doesn't mean that government of India doesn't have information about PFI's activities and presence in West Bengal. I think West Bengal has West Bengal cannot be treated um, in the same way as other states because I have always said that the state uh, has its own peculiarities this state has its own peculiarities has to be treated differently so that's what I was saying that West Bengal would have to be treated differently and government of India I believe is well aware of it I also want to share one more information with you that uh, this year in the month of january on january 4 um, a protest rally was organized in esplanade kolkata by students islamic organization sio they had uh, organized a protest rally against the anomalies in the state's education sector and their rally was supported the immediate next day by Students Federation of India, SFI, the CPM's uh, student wing. And uh, this SIO, uh, the parent organization of students Islamic organization, SIO, is Jamate Islami Hind, whose objective is to invite students to embrace Islam. SIO was founded in Delhi in 1982. So, so this is an organization which invites students to embrace Islam and a student's organization, SIO. And this SIO's rally was supported the immediate next day by SFI. So you can understand the these types of uh, organizations, the PFI, the SIO, they are very much overlapped with the mainstream political organization of West Bengal. So government of India would have to take altogether a different mode of action in West Bengal.